Oh, no. <clears throat> Hi. So, guys, you uh, have undoubtedly noticed in the background of several videos this old Silver King tractor. This is a new one to me. Um, being in the, the Great Plains, the Great Prairie, the grasslands, west of the Midwest, you know, um, Silver King tractors, you don't see them. But this one followed a family out here um, from Indiana, uh, which is closer to home for this brand. This is a 1948 Silver King Model 42. And I have a desire to get it running. I want to move it to another shop. So I want to get it running with you guys, and then we're going to tear in to working on it. I showed you the good side. But uh, you look at the right side of the tractor and we've got problems. So what happened here, EF5 tornado in 2007, there was a pickup parked here next to this thing in a shed, two different owners. It picked up the truck and rolled it right over this bad boy. So it just wiped everything off here, which all things considered, perhaps we should uh, count our blessings that it's this much intact. But we're missing the gas cap, the radiator cap, the radiator neck is just absolutely shot. I don't know if we can straighten it out and solder it so it will hold again. Um, exhaust, exhaust pipe muffler is completely gone. Intake air pipe is completely mangled and there's no uh, filter element apparatus left anymore fenders are completely mangled the driver's seat is well it's more side saddle now than anything i think i can fix that um, the sad part is this thing was restored in 2006 and then like i said spring of 2007 this happened one good thing and one good outcome is you kind of look at some of the things that were done to it um, that's a good quarter inch, five sixteenths worth of filler. Uh, that's totally unacceptable as far as I'm concerned. Um, not sure what we're going to do there. Obviously, we just need to source other fenders. Um, steering wheels kind of messed up. Um, but we'll see. Now, if this looks a little funny to some of you guys, you Silver King guys, if any are watching indeed, um, I know my brief search online, uh, the images I see have varying, uh, varying, um, styles or whatever you want to call it with red, red striping on the body mold, the, the beadwork here and the grill. Um, some put the whole grill as red, some just every other bar. On some, this stripe is red. On some, it's not. Um, I don't know what's correct, but what you're seeing here is what this family wanted, and they want it still, this silver and dark gray arrangement. So that is what it will go back to. I mean, it looks okay to me, um, but just don't... You don't need to tell me it's not correct. I mean, I already know that, so... Anyway, what I plan on doing with you guys um, for right now is I want to take damaged hood off the grill, maybe the fenders, pull it over to the pressure washer, and we'll get all this tornado debris. You know, you got insulation wrapped around the sediment bowl. You got lumber jammed in there. You got all kind. I don't even have a clue what's around that spark plug there. All this stuff. Kind of looks like it's been in a flood in a forest, doesn't it? Just packed up in the radiator. All of this stuff. The left side looks pretty good. This side, not so much. And you can see all the cast iron and everything just got blasted, sandblasted, and turned to rust on the frame, on the wheel. It's just all needs to be scuffed up and resprayed to make it look good again. And we will get to that. Okay, it feels like I can just take this one. Yeah. If it's gonna let me. Yep. I 
might have to open that hole up a little bigger. Can we go down? Well, let me try prying on that. Let's see if I can just tweak this lip up here a little bit. So the whole gas tank is wanting to come off with it, so I'm guessing if I remove these four little screws on either side, that'll release that. I don't know. Maybe I should take it off with it. Looks like if I release the fuel tank, um, it's going to have nothing to sit on. There will be no support. All its support comes from the hood. So I guess I will undo the fuel line and try to wrestle it off with it. I don't like that because I'm already going to have a fight here. So, And now my phone's ringing. Well, I have the fuel line disconnected and we got a little more movement out of her. Although this thing's still going to be a bear. Okay, I don't know if I can do this myself. <clears throat> that tank's empty, but man, it's heavy. Oh, wow. Yeah, you want to take a look? Old paper towel or something. Shingles. Circa 2007. Or older, I suppose. Got plaster in there. Got tar paper. Anything you want, huh? Oh, I think that's body filler. Yeah, yeah so I'll get the fenders off and then we will pressure wash it.
after what 16 years the tornado is still creating a debris field yuck all the shingles no coins or jewelry or anything interesting as far as I can tell so that's unfortunate but at least we can see what we're doing I'm gonna pull it back and start working on it see if we can get it to run Well, a couple things that were done on here that I personally wouldn't have done. I mean, it has no problem as far as making the thing run or not, you know. But when when we have an old thing, when I'm restoring an old thing, I want it to look old. And, you know, modern spark plug boots don't lend itself to, doesn't lend itself to that. Um, there's so little wiring on here, I think I'll take the time eventually to rewire it with cloth covered wire so it looks period correct. They completely omitted the headlights that were mounted on the fenders. See we have little clips here on the front side of the axle to run the wires through, I imagine. Um, so I'll redo that. Um, my plan of driving it what two three miles four miles to the shop i'm going to be working on this thing in uh just got canceled i still want to see if i can get it running here with you but i was looking at taking out the spark plugs i was going to put some oil down the cylinders and i noticed now that we have uh our debris field washed off this thing we've got a big old crack on this thermostat housing there Picked up the truck and rolled it right over this bad boy. So that is unfortunate. Uh, evidently, water has been left to do its dirty business. Picked up the truck and rolled it right over this bad boy. I guess. Now that seems odd to me because... Well, I mean, who knows with water. Picked up the truck and rolled it right over this bad boy. But, yeah, water could sit in there but I don't know it, it happened it's cracked it doesn't matter picked up the truck and rolled it right over this bad boy um so obviously driving it a few miles isn't going to work but I'm still going to put a battery in it I'll still I'm going to oil down the cylinders um over lunch hour we will try and make sure the engines broke free um, and I'll probably try to rinse out the fuel tank. There was no gas in it, so I'll rinse it out, rinse out the sediment bowl, uh, see if we can get it running. So that's unfortunate, but, uh, anyway, is this even, I don't even know what this, is, is this a Continental? I have no distinguishing, I mean, there's numbers all over the thing, but I don't know. Okay, apparently we have a custom battery tray that they made for that Optima 6 volt, right down there. Uh, would have been a just fine battery, but uh, I'll have to rework this somehow so that it stays put. Um, apparently, the way they had it hooked up, this is a positive ground system. I've ordered a manual for this tractor, but I do not have it as of yet. So... I, I'm assuming they knew what they were talking about. Anyway, um, also another good thing is they plum had a uh, fuel drain plumbed in here and a pet cock, of course, on the bottom of the carburetor. This old marvel, a blown air, blown air through with that drain, and so the float seems to be. Um, it's not stuck up, apparently, which is good. No fuel came out of there. I blew through that, so that's good. Um, now, for over the lunch hour, I'm just going to put some motor oil down in these. We'll let that percolate. Um, we'll come back after lunch, and we'll check out the points. We'll try to turn the engine. And we'll just see what happens. 
Well, I have a few minutes yet. We might as well pop this open. Got a little water in there. Well, that's all brand new yet, um, which is obvious. Tell you what, I probably... I better see if I can spin this. Uh, do I have a crank? Oh, shoot. I don't know if I do. Not that long. Um, let's see if I can get a screwdriver in there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, I'm not giving that oil a chance to work in the pistons there on the cylinders, but uh, you got to do what you got to do, right? Okay, we're in neutral. See if we can. Uh huh. Okay. I don't know if I'm seeing the spark, though. I may need to clean those things up. Nope. Sometimes a guy can be a real dolt. I had the key off. Oh, boy. Now we have... Now I have spark. I don't know if you could see it, but I could. So, very good. Now, after lunch, I will clean that up. I will prime the carburetor, kind of flush that out with clean gas. I will precariously perch the hood and the gas tank back on. We'll fill it. We'll see if we can get this thing to start. Uh, honestly, I thought uh, the gas would eat right through this Dollar Tree mustard bottle here, but it hasn't, so that's good. And I'm just gonna... I mean, it leaks prodigiously. We're just gonna flush this all out. Okay. Now we'll fill it some. I'm glad I'm not using these for ketchup or something. I mean, it'd, it'd make a mess. Let's see if we get any reaction to that. Um, plugs are back in. You know, they were a little sooty. But they were all consistent. I don't think they've been used hardly at all. Uh, what else is there? There's oil in it, and it looks pretty good. We might as well try it, huh? It's a brand new interstate battery, but I imagine, well that wasn't too tight anyway, let me try it. I imagine 6 volt there sit on the shelf quite a while, regardless. Alright, you 
you still rolling? Okay. Switch on. Choke on. Oh. Sounds good even without a muffler. All right, very good, very good. Um, man, I wish I could drive it around. This was wrapped around there. It's pretty nasty. I think everything's pretty nasty. I just want to clean this out. Um, you can see how bad this is. All just plastered with... It's not even dirt. It's... It's miscellaneous. It's small town, rural, um, what would you call it? Small town frosting, I guess. You know, just, just life boiled down to the, uh, to the soda stage. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to clean this out. I'm going to try to rinse the tank out, get get some flow through here, and then I'll hook it back up, see if I can run it for more than a minute at a time, and uh, we'll load it on the trailer. Well, you can see it's got antifreeze in the block at least yet. Uh, my attempt to put the, the tank and the hood back on was met with defeat. Um... This must be a much taller group of battery than it would have had uh, because the tank basically sat right on top of the posts, which obviously is a detriment. Um, so I'm going to have to look into that problem. Could be why they had an Optima in there, just got it out of the way. I don't know. I'm coming in on the middle of this just like you are. So anyway, I'm going to have to bottle feed it onto the trailer again. So going to be a little tricky. I'm going to have to get the front tire up on the trailer, kill it, put it in gear maybe, unless the brakes actually miraculously work, um, and then scoop my one ramp over to catch the other rear tire. So I'll set you up and we'll see what we can do here.
All right, guys, I got her all cleaned up, ready to go. Well, guys, I had every intention of hopping on the old side saddle and scooting down the road on this thing for several miles and bringing you along for the ride. But the best laid plans of mice rarely include men. So it just didn't happen. We got too much wrong with it to be able to do that. But uh, I'm going to take it down to the other shop. We will dig into it and uh, get it looking better, get it running good, and I will bring you along for the ride every step of the way. So I hope you join me for that. And I have a favor, favor from you guys, especially you guys that might be in the Midwest. Now these tractors were kind of a, kind of a sideline thing from a company that did other things, you know. Um, they're just not that prevalent, and here in Kansas, they're almost never seen at all. This is the first one I've seen. Um, so you guys in the Midwest, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, uh, if you have any connections with antique tractor salvage out in your area, you know a guy that owns one of these, could you ask around and try to find some parts? You know, like I said in the beginning, at least I think I did, if I need to if I need to beat that hood and those fenders back into place, I will. Um, but I think it'd be worth the time to see if I can source another one. Once again, it's a 48 model 42. Um, I may need a radiator. I already need a water outlet going to the radiator. Uh, fenders, air cleaner, muffler. Um, I've done a cursory search online and I just haven't found much uh, available as of yet. So I need to start contacting people that know more about these. And uh, if any of you can help me with that, that would be so great. So that's it. Um, like I said, I'm going to deliver it to the other shop. Thank you so much for joining me. God bless you guys. We'll see you on the next one.